Ah, winter, the season of snowball fights, hot cocoa, and blaming the polar vortex for everything cold. But what if I told you that this icy villain might not be the troublemaker we think it is? Let's dive into the frosty drama of the polar vortex and uncover the truth. The polar vortex is like the Arctic's personal bodyguard, a swirling mass of strong winds high up in the stratosphere, about 19 miles above us. It keeps the cold air locked up tight in the Arctic where it belongs, but sometimes it gets a little wobbly. Now, when the polar vortex gets weak or disrupted, it's like a bad breakup. It lets the cold air escape and crash on our couch here in the US. But this time, the polar vortex has an alibi. It's been strong. Recently, the polar vortex winds were the strongest they've been since at least 1990. So if you're freezing your toes off right now, don't point fingers at the vortex. It's been minding its own business. So if it's not the polar vortex, why am I out here shoveling snow instead of binge watching my favorite show? Well, the real culprit is the jet stream, the tropospheric troublemaker closer to the surface. The jet stream has been doing its own thing dipping southward and dragging Arctic air along for the ride. And while the polar vortex and jet stream sometimes team up, this time they're just coincidentally in sync. You might be thinking, isn't the polar vortex stretched out over North America right now? Yes, but the stratosphere and troposphere aren't really coupling. At least not in the way that would make the vortex guilty of this cold snap. At the top, the polar vortex is stretched toward North America, but lower down, it's shifted toward Europe and Asia. So, while it looks suspicious, the evidence just doesn't hold up. So, what does this all mean? Could the polar vortex be setting us up? Maybe. The strong winds make it easier for waves from the troposphere to disrupt the vortex, but for now, it's spinning like a top, stable and strong. The moral of the story? Sometimes cold weather is just weather. No stratospheric drama, no polar vortex conspiracy, just Mother Nature reminding us who's boss. So, the next time you hear someone blaming the polar vortex for their frozen pipes, you can set the record straight. And hey, maybe even impress them with your newfound knowledge. Stay warm, stay curious, and don't forget to subscribe for more cool science stories.